everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with JediInsider.com, your number one news source for everything Star Wars. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new release Star Wars The Force Awakens 3.75 inch unmasked Kylo Ren figure from Hasbro. Now this figure comes packaged in the same style packaging we've been seeing with all of Hasbro's Force Awakens figures. You've got an image of Kylo Ren up in the top corner. Then you've got the Star Wars The Force Awakens logo. Some artwork featuring Kylo Ren without his mask holding his lightsaber. The figure's clearly displayed on the card back. And then you have the little sticker that shows you how the build a weapon feature that we've seen with all these figures work. On the back of the packaging you have a look at the other figures in this assortment and then it shows you how to put together this particular build a weapon which looks to be some kind of staff. There's also a brief bio in multiple languages for Kylo Ren. Okay so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging. So first of all, it comes with this build-a-weapon piece, which looks like a, sta a bladed staff, and you've got this little missile that you can pull out. We've seen this type of thing before, and the missile is done with the translucent red plastic. The staff is done with a gray with some blue highlights on it, and the actual blade has a lighter silver metallic on it. So again, you can kind of use it, if you don't have the other pieces from the other figures in this assortment, you can uh, use it just as like a staff, a Sith staff or something, I guess and there is a little instruction sheet that shows you how to put all the pieces together once you have all three uh, three pieces from the three figures in this assortment. Now besides that he also comes with this lightsaber and we've seen this before so nothing unique here. You've got the little uh, crackling sculpting on the blade and the blade's done with the translucent red and then the handle is done with just silver uh, metallic paint and there's not a whole lot of detail on the handle and he can hold the blade in his right hand. So for the figure itself, this figure looks pretty much like the previous Kylo Ren figure that we got in this line. Now his feet are in a little bit different stance. They're more in an open stance, I guess, for lightsaber dueling. And he obviously, he doesn't have the mask. The, the hood is a separate piece on this figure, so you can't actually remove it, which is good because, you know, he never actually wore the hood when he didn't have his mask on. So it's kind of weird that they included the hood with this one. But it is a separate piece, and it's done with just that kind of rubber vinyl material and you've got that same kind of texturing and everything like we've seen on the previous uh, Kylo Ren figures in this line. You've also got the texturing on the actual figure. This lower uh, piece um, is split down the middle so you can move the legs and is also done with that kind of uh, vinyl material. So you've got some flexibility there, at least on the lower parts. The upper parts aren't, they're, they're hard plastic. The belt is that kind of shiny black and then you've got the silver metallic belt buckle. So the face sculpt obviously is not 100% to the actor's likeness. And I wouldn't really expect it with an action figure line like this that's probably primarily geared for kids. I do think they did an okay job with it. I mean, you can tell who it's supposed to be. So, you know, with a line like this, I think that's pretty good that you can at least tell who it's supposed to be. And I think they did a good job with the hair sculpting. I think the hair looks pretty good. I don't really like the eyebrows and the way the eyes look. I think that's what throws it off the most for me. But again, for an action figure like this that's made for kids, I think they did a pretty good job with the face sculpt. The figure stands about four and a quarter inches tall. And with the hood on, he actually stands closer to four and a half inches. And then here's a comparison with the regular Kylo Ren, the five points of articulated regular Kylo Ren, and then the black series Kylo Ren, and they're all about the same height. So articulation on this figure is your basic five points of articulation, like we see with all the figures in the line. You can turn the head left and right. You can rotate the arm all the way around. You can do the legs forward and back, and that's so it. So the big question I had with this figure when I first saw it is, would this unmasked Kylo Ren head fit on the black series, more articulated Kylo Ren figure? And the answer is yes. So you can just pop the head off on this black series uh, figure and then pop off the head on the unmasked Kylo Ren figure and it will fit on there. So if you want a more articulated unmasked Kylo Ren, then you can do it with these two figures. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I would say I like this figure. 
from a kid's standpoint, you know, this is your basic five points of articulated figure. And if they've been enjoying the other figures in this line, I think they'll enjoy this one as well. Though, honestly, they'll probably prefer the regular mask version over the unmasked, just because the mask from a kid's standpoint is definitely cooler. But from the adult collector standpoint, I think that what makes this figure worth getting is the fact that you can take that unmasked head and put it on the Black Series version with the added articulation. The head sculpt itself is not 100% great, but it's not horrible, especially for an action figure line of this type. You can definitely tell who it's supposed to be, and I like how the hair looks and everything. So this figure is out now on shelves. You can get it pretty much anywhere that sells Force Awakens three and a quarter inch figures. We'll have a full gallery of images up at JediInsider.com. There'll be a link in the description below. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please follow me on my Facebook and or Twitter pages. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.